the formidable robot. I used to work at a video store in Miami called Blockbuster Video. However, it was a summer job because my family didn't have much money and someone needed to have some kind of part-time job to help with the losses in my father's firing. So I worked for the summer and it was a pretty nice time. I met a lot of great people on that job. One of these people was, we will just call him Bob. Bob loved the show SpongeBob SquarePants. He would always wear a button on his uniform with the sea sponge's goofy looking face on it. He really loved the show. Well one day, a huge box full of Spongebob stuff came in. We don't know how it got there, but it was in the back room, so we thought it was just a new shipping of shit that came in for the shelves. I was in charge of stocking said shelves, so I started to place all of the stuff on the shelves when one of the DVDs caught my attention. It was a simple white case that was labeled, test, in black marker. I was curious, so I grabbed it and took it home. The disc was blank with no images or label on it. It was just a blank looking disc. I popped the disc in, only to see the intro for Spongebob to start playing. What a surprise. The intro ended and the title card came up. Squidward's Suicide. That was the name of the episode. It was really dark. I had no idea why it said this, so I paused the episode. I took a minute to process this and I thought for a moment. Was this a bootleg? Were all of those DVDs I put up bootlegs and I didn't even know? I knew the only way to find out was to watch the rest. I unpaused the episode and I realized something that kind of made me chuckle. The music that was in the background was very happy. It sounded like any other episode's intro music. It was just so odd for such a dark title like that to be partnered by such cheery music. The next off thing was the intro credits. All of them were blank. All that was there was sand. The episode then began. The episode began with Squidward sitting on his bed playing his clarinet. He messes up and is shaking heavily. Just as he is about to play again, laughter interrupts him. He looks out the window to see SpongeBob and Patrick playing in the sand like idiots. Squidward then politely asked them to please lower their volume, which is something unlike the character of Squidward. He goes back over to his bed and is about to play again. The same thing happens and he asks again, this time a little more stern. This happens one more time before he explodes. Will you just shut your mouths? I have a very important concert to practice for. SpongeBob and Patrick then start to cry, very loud. They then run off to somewhere else and Squidward goes back to playing. A bubble transition takes us to a concert hall where we see Squidward trembling in fear. He walks out and we hear fish clapping and cheering. Squidward then says a speech. Um, hello everyone. Thank you all so much for coming. If you don't know who I am, my name is Squidward Tentacles. I am here to play a song for you all. I made it myself, and it's called, A Cephalopod's Dream. I have worked very hard on this, and I hope you guys and gals love it. He takes a deep breath and starts to play. It is beautiful. Every note played correct. But the crowd starts to boo and laugh, and then start to scream. Then they throw things at Squidward, and they all leave in anger. There is just Squidward, laying on the floor, trying to process what happened. He then finds his clarinet in pieces. Squidward then grabs the broken parts and runs away home, screaming and crying. It then cuts to him sitting on his bed, sniffling and tearing up. Squidward then looks over to the camera and smiles. He laughs, and with one swift motion slashes his wrist with a knife, and then sits down. He starts to cry again. The crying then stops. Squidward dies. The scene cuts to black, and we hear SpongeBob open a door and yell out Squidward's name. The episode ended from there.